All right, today I got a piano trap beat and I'll be breaking it down from the melody, the drums and all that. So first of all, I have the tempo uh, at 150 and the key signature in F minor. So now let's start off with the melody. So first of all, for a piano trap beat, you need a piano. So I have the classical grand from the keyboard section. And here are the effects that I put on it. A little less treble and a little bit of reverb. I added LRC5 and tone bridge. This was the first thing that popped up, so I just used Rockstar from the baby. So here are the chords. So what I did first was add the root note, which you guys can see here, and then I used that as a foundation for the chords. Then I added uh, the bass notes, and then I spiced it up by doing a lot of different things. So I delayed some of the chords by uh, zooming in a lot, and then once you see that snap to grid off, you'll be able to move it freely. So I did that for a lot of the notes right here. And then for some of the bass notes, I added like a little pre-note, I guess you could call it, and then I lowered the velocity. And then I also added a few extra notes just to spice it up a little more like Then I lowered the velocity And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the chords. So now for the main melody All right, so for the main melody, I also used classical grand and added a lot of reverb And then the plugins I added were tape cassette and LRC5 And I also lowered the volume a little bit and here's what it sounds like I forgot to mention that I'm using the minor scale for the melody. So what I did for the main melody was I played it on the keyboard. So here's what I did. And then I quantized it and then also fixed a few of the notes because it wasn't perfect. So yeah, moving on to the strings. Okay, so I used Hollywood strings for the strings, which is in the synth pad section. I added a little bit of echo and reverb and also treble. And then I also lowered the volume a little bit. And here's what it sounds like. For the next instrument, I use Pulse Cloud from the synth pad section as well. So I added reverb and all of the effects here were already pre-added and Here's what it sounds like. Now for the second to last sound for the melody, I used the vocal chop, which is from the Apple Loop section, where I searched up uh, a Vox, and I just found something that matched the melody. Uh, to that, I added reverb and LRC5. Here's what it sounds like. Now for the last instrument, for the melody, I used the bass. What I did was went to the details and I made it so that it would gradually increase in volume. So to that, I added uh, fuzz plus three, which is in the description. So here's what it sounds like. Now that we finished with the melody, I'll be breaking down the drums, starting off with the clap. So I just used the generic clap sound 
and also the generic clap pattern. That's a clap pattern. And now for the hi-hat, I used a pop-in hi-hat from the percussion section. And here's what it sounds like. First, I just put a simple uh, 1 8 pattern, and then I lowered the velocity of every other hi-hat. After that, I added a few hi-hat rolls going down. I just messed with different notes and velocities. I also added a few low notes for the hi-hat, so... And then also, I made a triplet pattern for uh, one of the bars. And yeah, that's it. So next up, I got a snare, which I got from LLB's free drum kit. And here's what it sounds like. So I kind of did a simple pattern, but I added a few snare rolls, and then I lowered the velocity. And then at the end of the pattern, I added a, a triplet pattern, and then also a snare roll. And yeah, that's it for the snares. Now moving on to the kick and the open hi hat. All right, so for the kick, I used two kicks, one from a red line, and then the other one from Cymatics. So for the red line, here's what it sounds like. So the thing I did to make it hit a lot harder was I added a lot of drive because here's what it sounds like without drive. So it's really weak. And then I layered that with another kick. So basically the same thing, but just another kick. And to that kick, I added uh, overdrive as well. And finally, for the last sound, I used an 808. Here's the pattern. So it basically followed the bass notes of the chords. All right, now moving on to the effects and transitions. First, I have a reverse impact. I used it as a riser. So here's what it sounds like. And since it was really loud, I lowered the volume by a lot. And that's basically it. So here's the final beat.